Okay, this is um, um, a video on um, in biology paper one for biology paper one GCE, GCE. Okay, for the year twenty twenty one multiple choice paper one. I'll do the first this first part of question one to twenty. Then I'll do the second part of question twenty one to forty. Let's go to question one. Remember, for the love of science, we do these things. Which of the following characteristics? Uh, of living organism is common in both plants and animals growth okay, growth um two the diagram below shows a compound microscope which of the labeled parts holds it and turns objective lenses into positions b the revolving nose piece number three which row shows the features found in both plants and animals my answer was d uh both in plants and animals yes chloroplast is not found in both Cell wall is not found in both. Ribosomes, nuclear cytoplasm, they are both they are found in both. Though they may differ in structure a little bit, but they're found in both. Number two, number four, I mean, the diagram shows the effect of temperature in an enzyme activity. On an enzyme activity, on enzyme activity. Which labeled point uh, correctly indicates the optimum temperature? C. This is the maximum of this enzyme activity. So C is the optimum temperature. We get to question five. Uh, the table below shows a uh, concentration of glucose and starch in onion. Therefore, starch is zero, glucose is four. Uh, onion is, was tested for Benedict solution and iodine solution. Which set of results uh, were obtained? There's no starch, so iodine will not prove anything. It will remain brown. Benedict, this is the test for reducing sugars. It will come out as brick red. So the answer is D. Uh, question six. Which of the following kinds of people need a lot of energy in their diet? Sportsmen. They are ever expending energy. Okay, they are, they want more energy than anything else. Number seven, uh, nitrogen is a macronutrient in plants, which is used in the formation of proteins. The answer is C. Number eight, uh, the diagram below. I mean, the diagram is an experiment uh, set up to show that light energy is needed for photosynthesis. The setup was left uh, in sunlight for 12 hours. Then the leaf was tested for presence of starch. Yes, light is reaching, light is reaching, light is reaching. So what are they asking us to do? Which part of the leaf did not contain starch after 12 hours? The answer is C. Okay, I'll, the answer is C. This is exposed to light. So this part covered is C. Uh, nine, the diagram below shows structure of rhizopus. Which, which of the labeled parts is the stolon? A. The stolon is A. Uh, Rhizopus is a um, common fungus, okay, common fungus which is found on bread and many other foodstuffs in our homes. Ten, the diagram shows the longitudinal section of a molar tooth, a molar tooth. Um, which part, what is part X, I mean part S, what is part S? Therefore, I was almost saying pulp cavity, but I realized pulp cavity is this here, this is the dentine. Inner male, dentine, pulp cavity. Then you've got the cement there, then the gum, the gum is here, and the jaw is there. So the answer is dentine. Number 11, what ailments associated, what ailments, what are the ailments associated with the large intestine? Remember, the large intestine is the site where absorption of water takes place. Okay, so my answer was B, appendicitis. The appendix, the appendix is found just at the beginning of um, the large intestine. Uh, cholera, yes, dysentery, yes. Diabetes, no, this is sugar disease. It doesn't affect the alimentary canal. So B is our answer. That was number 11. Uh, question 12, the diagram shows gaseous exchange in the alveolus. That is our alveoli. Uh, usually carbon dioxide diffuses out, oxygen diffuses in. So the, already I'm able to tell this is oxygen, that's carbon dioxide. Which of the following correctly represents the gas X and Y? X is oxygen, okay, and Y is carbon dioxide. C. Number 13, which of the following is an application of respiration? Sewage treatment to allow bacteria to work on the uh, sewer and then the bacteria will actually break it down to less harmful uh, substances. And the answer there is C. Number um, 14, what type of immunity is associated with BCG vaccination against tuberculosis? Artificial active immunity. This is your last topic in your grade 11. Okay, last topic in your grade 11 biology. A, that's our answer. Number 15, which conditions are needed for blood to clot? Uh, which conditions are needed for a blood clot to form when a person cuts uh, oneself? 
B is my ants. You need calcium ions. You need platelets. You need fibrinogen. You don't need white blood cells. Okay, you don't need white blood cells. The answer is B. The diagram shows an external view of the heart. That's our, an external view of the heart. That's our coronary artery. There are usually two of them. There are two of them, but only one is shown. That's our left atrium. Um, okay, right atrium. Yeah. So which, what is the name given to the blood vessel X? Oh, coronary artery, actually. Coronary artery, the smallest uh, blood circulation system out of the three. You've got the coronary, the systemic, and the pulmonary circulation. Number 17. The diagram uh, shows the circulatory system. The diagram shows the circulatory system. There we have it. Uh, the question reads, um, name the blood vessels labeled G and K. K is actually the, uh, the mesenteric artery, which is an artery which leads or carries blood towards the intestines, the gut. Okay, this is your gut. Oh, this is, my, this is our gut. Okay, yes, our gut. It looks like this. And then J is this is the hepatic portal vein, the hepatic portal vein. This is your hepatic vein. Then that's the hepatic artery, which goes directly to the liver. Okay, the names will go on and on and on, but um, that's that. So our answer here uh, comes out as um, B. Okay, B, hepatic portal vein and mesenteric artery. Question 18. Um, in which part of the kidney does um, Ultra filtration occur the glomerulus. The glomerulus number nine, teen. Uh, what changes are likely to occur when a hotel cook moves from a very cold storage or storeroom uh, into a hot kitchen, not chicken, into a hot kitchen? Um, sweating increases, okay, shivering decreases. You're moving to a warm place, vessel dilation of blood vessels. Uh, occurs therefore he's beginning to lose more heat because he's in an environment where there is already heat he doesn't need to con conserve the heat number 20 which of the following shows the correct match between a hormone and its effect my answer here is um, D tyroxine controls basal metabolic rate and in children it's part of uh, let me just say it's a growth hormone rate so uh, it's a growth hormone, especially in children, but this is the, its actual effect. Adrenaline, no, that's not the answer. So my answer there is D. We'll get to the next question. Oh, this is already 20, so let me just chop this off, and then I'll make... Maybe we'll continue. Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's continue to go all the way up to 40. We're not going to make two videos because we only have uh, seven minutes on the clock. The diagram shows a reflex arc, okay? Section of the spinal cord, L... Uh, K, I can already tell to say this is uh, an effector, which is J, a relay or interneuron, then the sensory neuron, where the pain or, or are you. So what, is this, what are the structures labeled JKL? Uh, J is my effector, okay, or motor neuron, it's also known as motor neuron. Uh, K is my relay or interneuron, therefore relay. Then finally, sensory neuron is my L. So the answer there is D. Question 22, the diagram below shows the section through the human eye. Um, uh, which structure contains the muscles which are contract to produce a focused image on the retina? I was almost going for the suspensory ligaments, but you know, I'd already circled, so, and then I'm using pen. So my answer is actually B. Okay, B is the answer there. Uh, ciliary muscles, ciliary muscles. Number 23, which of the following is correct about this exoskeleton? It is uh, outside the body and made of chitin. It's outside. I was cruising and I uh, just made of chitin. It's actually outside. Exo, not endo. There are three types. Exoskeleton, endoskeleton, and hydrostatic. My answer here is D. We move on to question 24. Uh, the question reads, which of the following statements or behavior behaviors of living organisms can be referred to as negative taxism. These are responses to stimuli in animals. Therefore, A, cockroaches moving away from light. That's negative taxism. Okay. Um, 25, the diagram shows the structure of a maize seed. Uh, what are the parts labeled X, Y, Z? Okay. X is our cotyledon. Y is our, our radical. And then Z is our coleoriza, or coleoriza. This here is our plumule, and this part here is our coleoptile, the sheath 
to the plumule. This is a sheath or the cover to the embryonic root. So my answer here was B. 26, fungus, fungus, fungus. How I don't like fungus. The diagram shows the structure of muca, another type of fungus. Sporangium, okay, these are spores spreading, going into the air. Okay, um, what type of asexual reproduction is demonstrated in the diagram? Spore formation. Spore formation is the uh, reproduction type shown there. We we'll go to question 27. Which of the following is not an advantage of vegetative propagation? Overcrowding. Vegetative propagation is where the plants grow uh, asexually from their parents uh, in the same place. Okay, so it, 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 it brings about overcrowding. Okay, uh, 28. Uh, the diagram shows a longitudinal section of a pistil or capel of a flower. Okay, which part receives pollen grains? Pollen, pollen during pollination. A receives pollen. Then the pollen tends to dig, okay, uh, creating a pollen tube to the ovary. So A is the one that receives the pollen. 29, the diagram shows a dandelion fruit. A dandelion fr fruit. Um, how is the fruit dispersed and what adaptive feature enables it to be dispersed in, the, in that manner? It has a parachute, okay by wind. Wind having a parachute, the answer is C for number 29. Number 30, which part of the male reproductive system, system produces the hormone testosterone? That's the testis. Sperm duct? No, it's just a duct. Penis? No, that's just for delivery of semen. Epididymis? No, it's just also a duct where yeah, maturation and uh, yeah, storage of semen uh, takes place. Number 31, the diagram shows the changes that occur to the uterus during the menstrual cycle. That's our diagram right there. Which of the following shows the times in days when ovulation and menstruation are likely to occur? You have to be able to count there. So uh, menstruation ends on day number four. It starts on day number one to day number four. So you have to, yeah, it may take too long, but which of the following uh, times, which of the following show the times when ovulation and menstruation are likely to occur? My answer was D. Uh, likely ovulation dates are 22 to 25. Okay, therefore from 22 to 25, ovulation dates. Then uh, ovulation is uh, the release of an, an egg, um, of a mature egg from an ovary into the uh, oviduct. Then these dates uh, up to one here is where the egg is not fertilized, like the, the, the egg travels and finally ends up in the uterus. And if there's no fertilization, meaning there won't be any implantation, meaning there won't be any hormonal control to prevent menstruation from occurring, then menstruation starts. Then menstruation from day one to four. Okay, so the answer there is D. 32, which method of birth control works by preventing the ovum from being released? Uh, the ovum from being released. No, I was in a rush even here. I think that's why I crashed. So A, condom, no. Oral contraceptive pills, yes, these are chemical. Okay, so they're chemical based, so they, they prevent ovulation uh, ovum from being released, or ovulation from being released. The rhythm method, this is mechanical vasectomy, you cut the tubes, so the answer there is B. Number 33, uh, which cells in the human body are produced by meiosis? Gametes. But here there's sperm, and the sperm cell is a gamete cell, so the answer is C. Number 34, which cross is likely to produce a ratio uh, a 1 to 3 ratio of phenotype controlled by a dominant allele T and recessive allele small letter T. My answer here is B. I had to do a little bit of crossing. Then it became tough. Then I did, I did some more in pencil. Uh, finally, I just had to do it properly here. Then I realized um, the, uh, the question is which cross is likely to result into a 3 to 1. This is a 3 to 1 in the phenotype, meaning this is dominant. Heterozygous dominant, heterozygous dominant. In other words, the three are dominant, and this one is recessive. Three to one. Three to one. My answer is B. We'll go to 35. Question 35. Uh, diagram shows an arthropod. This looks like uh, a centipede. Okay, these guys come from the same uh, group as the millipedes, centipedes. Uh, so to which class does this organism belong? Mm, I had to scratch my head on this one But finally I had to dig a little bit more away from the paper than area. I discovered that it's actually a chylopoda It comes from the class of chylopoda. This is taxonomy um, State I mean number number 36 an experiment to investigate uh, One property of soil was set up as shown 
Uh, each thin glass tube was filled with the same amount of different types of soil and stood in water for two hours, standing in water. Okay, what property of soil uh, samples was being investigated? My answer there is capillarity, the ability of water to, to climb up uh, through narrow spaces. So that's capillarity right there. Number 37, which of the following correctly identifies biotic factors, abiotic factors, and population? My answer was D, biotic factor, abiotic, non-living, river is non-living, biotic, rabbit, yes, it's living, then population, uh, 50 grasshoppers. Number C may seem a little bit correct as well, but here, it's not telling you about the number of grass plants, it's telling you about the area where the grass is, not the number of grass plants. So this one falls off, my answer is D. We go to the next question, 38. At 38, the diagram shows the food web in which partic in one particular year, a swarm of locusts invaded the and ravaged the area. A food web, um, a food web, and in one particular year, a swarm of locusts invaded and ravaged the area. So that's our web there. We've got Leo, Pad, Hawk, Snake, Tick, Bird, Tick, uh, Seaweed, Bird, Seed, Seed Eating Bird. Ah, oh, so maybe this is weed eating. Mm, birds that eat weed. Impala, locust, scorpion, baboon. You don't want to meet this guy. They have very large, long teeth. Okay, so, and they, 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 they are kind of stubborn when they, yeah. So, what could have happened to the population of baboons and impalas? You have to look at how interdependent they are. A lot of locusts, a swarm, okay, it's like in that game, what's that game against Starcraft? Okay, um, uh, a swarm. If these came in a swarm, it means the baboons benefited. So their population could have increased because populations increase where there's plenty of food. But the thing is, these guys eat grass. So they finish the food for these other animals that also depend on grass. So impalas reduced, baboons increased. So population of baboons increased, impalas reduced. My answer is B. 39, which is our second last question. Uh, this In the carbon cycle, to which process... So my answer here is combustion and respiration. They add carbon to the atmosphere. Then my last question in this paper is, which of the following is correct reason for conserving plants? To obtain medicine from them, decreasing rainfall, we need rainfall, we need oxygen, release of carbon, we don't need this one, so C is the answer. This marks the end of this revision in this paper. That's me, and I'm saying bye-bye to you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.